Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Salesforce and this is Rohit and today I am going to discuss about Spring 24 new feature regarding flow that is repeater. Uh, repeater is still in beta but uh, we can use in existing org that is winter 24 release org and this winter 24 release org have this feature also spring 24 feature because it's already have upgraded so you can use your existing org and you can take this benefit in your org so if you are new in this channel so please subscribe the channel and turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never will miss any kind of update from my side so let's get started without any further delay if you want to learn something new so please watch this video until end and don't miss any steps from this video so let's get started again so first of all you have to open your latest org it, it can be winter 24 or spring 24 but because spring 24 will be come in 14 uh, December so you can use existing org uh, this feature is already available so you can use it okay so first of all you have to open your org and open the flows so if you want to open the flow just under the quick find you have to search like flows and you can see under process automation that is flows here so once you open your flows this tab so here you can see the flow trigger explorer and new flow so just click on this new flow and once you click on this new flow you will be see like uh, this template so right now i'm using this screen flow just click on this template and click on this create button so once you click on this create button now you can see immediately this is a you know uh, canvas and based on this canvas you can design your flow anywhere as you want so first of all just click on this plus icon here under this plus icon you can see the lots of you know element interaction logic so if you don't know about this uh, all kind of you know uh, this element the data element logic element interaction element so you can watch my uh, like flow playlist so you will get to know more about it so first of all you have to search here let's say screen and just click on this screen under this screen you have to enter your label let's say screen one under this screen under component you have to search like a repeater repeater so still you can see the beta just drag and drop anywhere as you want in this screen area so here you can see you can read this article or you know like beta notice so repeater beta you you agree that the unified pilot research agreement this is some term and condition view agreement so you can read this okay so here you can see drag component to include in the repeater here so which component you want to repeat in this canvas so you just search here let's say text because i want to create some you know number date fields or text field so let's say text first name something like that first name and last name let's say last name last name here like this and make it required last name and uh, and number let me take the number here or date yeah this is the number let's say salary or any like age okay like say age and uh, date so just date here you can drag and drop like date and make it like dob something like that so our uh, you know uh, this is screen is ready under this repeater you can see the two buttons here like plus add and remove and let me remove the number here now you can see immediately this kind of environment right so just click on this done so it's still having some problem let me check this problem here so repeater need api name so let's say uh, repeater one something like that so once you done uh, click on this done button now you can see our screen is ready if you want to see this screen output so you can add another screen so let's say i want to add another screen here let's say screen two under here i want to show this display text here so just display text and let's say result under here I want to use like uh, first name last name so under the repeater all items you can see this one click on done and save it and let's say spring 24 
okay click on save once you save it a flow is already there okay so let me click on this spring 24 or repeater you we can say that like repeater repeater okay click on the save button now you can see our flow is saved let me debug this flow and let's see the actual output of this repeater component okay so just click on this debug and here you can see click on this run button and immediately you can see here repeater first name last name age and dob right and also add and remove so first of all let me show you the simple way let's say first name let's say rohit kumar is 26 for example and is this one for example purpose you can change the age because this is not a actual dob so don't worry about it right so they here you can see this one click on the next button and now you can see immediately like a 26 dob everything you can see in this screen right first name last name okay just click on this finish again i will show you the actual you know the repeater functionality just click on this run and suppose that i want to remove it this form let's say here you can remove it or i want to add again this kind of functionality let's say first name last name age and dob again so just click on the add and you can add a number of uh, element like this okay you can add multiple you know fields again and again in the ui so let me remove this one also you can remove it let's say rohit kumar is 27 dob so i am taking like today dob don't worry about it this is not a valid you know dob so let's say deepak tyagi is 20 or 30 something like that and dov today dov here you can see so i have two you know like contacts or two details of the user click on the next in the next page you will be see like lots of you know details here in the json format array of an object so you can see the uh, output of this you know repeater so this is a very useful feature regarding this spring 24 release because of uh, no need worry about every time you have to create a screen uh, uh, with repeated component okay so in the run time user can enter or user can you know add or remove the ui at the run time so that is the benefit of this you know repeater and you can use multiple times at a time right so that kind of functionality repeater have if you feel like this is a very more informative video for us so please like share comments and also subscribe the channel for more update so you never be miss any kind of update from my side so till then bye bye take care see ya thank you for watching guys and also if you want to learn lots of new feature so please stay tuned i will meet you in the next session so till then bye bye take care see ya thank you for watching guys